born here. Just to put it into perspective, she was the oldest of five children. There were originally six. I think one died as a child, but she was the oldest. Um, she was the only one who survived. And as we saw last year, we, we had gone to Kovna. My mother survived with a Sugihara visa because being the oldest, she had the privilege of going to study in Vilna in a teacher's seminary. And, but she was the only one of the family who did and hence survived. Um, as Jeremy had pointed out, in September 1st, 1939, when the Russians came in, the Russians took over here. And my mother would say that my grandfather, who had a tannery, was arrested. I guess at, later on, he ended up being freed, maybe it was with Barbarossa, whatever, when things changed. But her mother, she said, didn't want to leave. This is, this is where her roots were. And they had no idea of what, you know, was coming. So uh, I came across last week, I actually listened to a tape that I made when I was in graduate school interviewing my mother. She talked a little bit about Krinky, about the schools. Amazing for a town of about 5,000, there were quite a few schools. She said there was the Yiddish school, the Hebrew school, the public school, the Christian school, the yeshiva. She actually studied both Hebrew and Yiddish. She said for eighth grade, she went to Bialystok, which is where we just came from, and, and then to the gymnasia in Vilna. She, she continued. She, with the visa, she traveled with the Mira Yeshiva through Russia to Vladivostok and ended up in Kobe and then in Shanghai. And that's where she heard there was nobody left. It was very interesting because in listening to the tape that I had made, now my, my mother was Nifter in 2003 and she developed Alzheimer's before that. So a lot of information got lost. But she said originally they had no idea what would happen. But then, you know, as I pushed her a little bit, she said that her mother told her, well, maybe, you know, you'll be the one who will come out. So it's a little bit of a contradiction because if she had no idea of what was going to happen, but obviously, you know, it's, it's Nisa because I'm an only child. And so I'm the only one who came out of this. And, um, you know, Baruch Hashem, we now have 12 grandchildren with the Bar Mitzvah coming up next week. So it's, really special to be able to to see this, to see what where, where I came from. So yeah, what do you know about what happened to the parents? Hmm? Oh right. Well I should say, yes. Um, so apparently there was somebody who was hidden in a chicken coop who came out. And so there were a lot of this testimony that she gave that appeared in the, the Yisker um, you know the the Krinker Yisker book. Apparently my Grandmother and three aunts were taken out, and they ended up in Treblinka, which we, where we'll be later. And my grandfather and the one uncle, there's documentation that they had been arrested. There were 20 people, and it must have been around the week before Shavuos. They had to dig a pit that they were shot into. I don't know if it was actually here or somewhere on the road. And I, I came across actually two pictures, which you know I can pass around. One um, that shows the Jews being led out of here, and one with a pit. I don't know how she got these pictures. I'll never know. But yeah. Thank you. Yeah.